Hey guys, fast one here. Today I am going to review Oslo. It's an all-in-one web-based video editing and collaboration tool by Streamlabs and you don't have to download anything to use it. It's all web-based. You could just use it on your computer on their website. So I am going to show you exactly how to use it. In this video, I will focus on the basic and then we will get more advanced options. The link is available in the video description and just click on get started for free and then create yourself an account. I am inside of my home page here where all your recent projects are going to show up. So you could create a new project from here. I am going to create a new video inside of this project. Now the very first thing in basic editing is obviously uploading the files you want to edit. So you could use videos here, you could use photos. I am going to press upload and I have a few clips here. So I am going to go ahead and select this and open it up. And I am going to give it a few seconds here depending on the size of the clip. Now once your media is imported, you should see a little preview of it right here. And then what you could do is you just press this plus sign or you could grab and drag it and drop it down here. Down here is called your timeline. So everything that you do in editing will take place down here and then it will show a preview of what you are looking at. This is your final video over here. So this white line, this is called your playhead. So wherever this is, that's what you are going to see over here in your preview window. So for example, I could go to the very beginning, press play right here or space bar on your keyboard and it's going to play the video, the clip that I have. So next I am going to add another clip as well. So I am going to take this one and you could bring it down here and then you could drag and drop it over here and make sure it connects to the previous clip and make sure it snaps. See when it snaps it creates this plus sign in between where you could add a little transition. So now if I bring this white line here Sometimes you need to trim those clips. So I will show you here with this clip. Sometimes you want to make sure this starts a little bit later. Grab it and end it a little bit sooner. So that's how you basically make an edit to the beginning or from end of the clip. And again, I am going to grab it and make sure it snaps to the previous clip. And sometimes you split it in the middle of a clip. So especially if you are talking and you make a mistake, you could go over here, select this clip. And then there is this icon right here for separating and I created a cut right here. I am going to go a little bit later select this clip again and I am going to cut again and then now I could take something in the middle out like this. So I could select this and then press delete here and then take the rest of it and then again snap it back to the previous clip. Now let me show you transitions quickly between each clip but if you press this plus sign you have lots of different transitions options here. So for example, if you press play now, it kind of has a different look to it. So these transitions are really useful. Anytime you could delete them by clicking on them or updating them and choosing something else like this one, I will choose that and that's a whole different look to it. That looks more advanced. Now some clips are going to have a little audio so sometimes you want to detect the audio if you right click on any of them you could actually separate audio from the clip and it will take the sound from that clip and put it on a different track over here. Now you could select this one for example and you could actually change the volume settings so it's going to take you to the settings menu if you choose this audio track and you could make it for example a background music and turn it to 25 or 20 or all the way to 0. 
that's a great use of this and you could always delete it too without interfering with the video file now if you want to add some text as well there is a text option over here so if you look over here we do have multiple different menus and text is really simple to use you just click on it right over here and it's going to add it to another track right here on top of your video so i could click this text and i can type in my own text and it's putting it right over here and you can change the color and size you want and put it anywhere within your project it's really easy to move it around you could always change the font size etc Here you could change the opacity of it too, if you want it to be a little bit transparent. You could always add multiple text as well. I am going to add text after my video ends and then I will show you what that looks like. and I will move it right to the center. Now I will show you some more advanced options in a second but you could just press export right here. Save this and it's going to download it to your computer. But let's move on to another step. Now I want to show you this option with animation. This is really really useful. You have some more advanced options. One of my favorite is this one option called animation. Look how this works. For example, I could do this zoom animation. This is one of the more advanced options, but it will basically take the start of the video that's this box over here and then zoom to the end of the video, which is this box in the middle here. So I could move this inside box and I could make it smaller or bigger and look what happens. I'm going to go to the beginning press space bar and you see how it's zooming in the portion of the video that I selected here. There are a bunch of other options like there is this one. This is really cool. Check this out. There is this cool flicker option as well that could come in handy for a special effect. By the way, you could change the speed of a clip. So if I want to make this double the speed, you see it cut the same time in half now. And it's now twice as fast as it was before. And while we are over here, there is an adjust tab to for each clip here. You could change the size of the clip, the position of the clip. You could just zoom it in. This will keep it zoomed in the whole time. So there is no animation to it. You could rotate it. You could flip a clip. There is a bunch of different options and you could change the color. Here is brightness, contrast. Then there is who. Here you could change the color of it and you could add saturation or take it out and make it black and white. So these are all different useful options. Each clip has them under the settings tab. Now you have this filter tab. You can quickly apply a whole filter to it to change the look of that clip. Now this is better than the manual color correction because then you could have the exact same kind of look to your entire video which is going to be hard if you do this manually. And you could always move it one clip at a time over here. Now the best thing I wanted to show you is you could collaborate with other people so someone could jump in edit the same project. This is really useful. So this is how you do that. I'm going to get out this project right here. It's going to auto save it for me. Anyway, so it's going to be over here. All the projects that are in this tab right here. I could add someone to basically edit this project with me. So I would type in someone's email name, invite them and they could literally come into the same page. Click this project, open it up here 
and then make edits to it and these edits will be saved automatically too. So how great is that to easily work on a project with multiple people all online something that's just not very easily possible with apps that you download on your computer. And another really useful option is the ability to actually publish directly to YouTube. Check this out, you could press export right here and instead of exporting to your computer, you could instead press this option right here and press export and it will post to your YouTube channel. But you do have to link your YouTube channel first. So let me show you that I am going to exit here again. You could jump over here to settings, go to general settings and over here you could link your Google account and it could then directly post it. Now I recommend you leave it as unlisted video so you could jump into your YouTube studio and then make sure you have your thumbnail and description and so on in YouTube studio. I think you are going to find it really useful. Give it a try. I have a link in the description and thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one.